but they actually have a compartment that has a little cooling fan to keep the phone from overheating. Uh, good morning everybody, this is Cruise Man. Just getting ready to head back to the house once again from a lake. Decided to meet Don for breakfast again this morning. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the new stuff out there in the uh, motorcycle world. Some of the new stuff coming down the pike. Welcome to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, um, just want to thank you for joining us. And I uh, do these motor vlogs about once a week, sometimes twice a week, where I just uh, talk about a variety of different topics. It's a little cool this morning. It is 56 degrees and there's a little breeze out so that makes it a little cooler and it's still a nice day for riding though it's going to get up in the 70s today so it should be a beautiful day for riding I'm actually going with the wind right now a little bit so that helps but uh, what's the weather like in your area are you able to ride this time of year we've been very lucky we've had kind of an extended fall and I hope it hope it stays because I've got a couple of installation video jobs I've got coming up and my garage is not heated so I'm hoping it doesn't get too cold out in that garage I do have a little a little space heater thing that I use but uh, it doesn't do a great job but it helps a little bit but there is some uh, interesting things that I've seen lately on some of the new motorcycles that are coming out. And I'm kind of curious how this relates to the Honda Goldwing and if Honda uh, will respond with updating the Goldwing with some of these features I'm seeing coming down on other motorcycles. Most notably, I think, is the new BMW R1200RT which they have redesigned, restyled, it's pretty bike. And in 2021, it now has adaptive cruise control. Actually has a little radar sensor in the front of the bike. And uh, I know a couple of you have emailed me and asked me if Honda's planning on adding adaptive cruise control. I don't think BMW calls it that, but, uh, but that's what it is. They call it radar cruise control. And even Ducati on their new 2021 Multistrada V4 has radar or adaptive cruise control. And they also have a radar detector in the back of the bike as well. And I think that is to kind of notify you if it, somebody's coming up on you from behind very rapidly. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but they have radar detectors in the front and the back. And it would be interesting to know if Honda has any plans in the future to add this capability to the Honda Goldwing. You know, I consider this to be one of, if not the most advanced motorcycles uh, on the market today. And it is certainly the flagship for Honda. And I think it's the model where Honda wants to be able to show off all of the uh, technology that's possible on two wheels. So it, it stands to reason that maybe it won't be another 15 or 18 years before we see a new model per se, uh, or I should say maybe it will be 15 or 18 years before we see a new model, but we might see a refreshed or an updated model because these new technologies are advancing so rapidly. I uh, just don't think Honda can uh, really wait. Uh, they really waited too long to come out with this particular Goldwing to compete with some of the technology that's out there on other motorcycles. So, 
I'm hoping that uh, Honda will be able to address uh, some of this uh, new technology that other manufacturers, I think KTM is even also working on uh, adaptive cruise control for their uh, higher end uh, sport touring bikes or, or maybe their adventure bikes. So what are your thoughts on that? Is adaptive cruise control, radar cruise control, whatever you want to call it, is that something that would interest you? Now there's something else this new BMW has also that's kind of interesting. This new R1200RT. They have a, a little compartment in the fairing or in the shelter for your cell phone where you plug it in for your Android Auto or, or Apple CarPlay. And it charges the cell phone, just like on the Goldwing. But they actually have a compartment that has a little cooling fan to keep the phone from overheating. I think that's a brilliant idea. And honestly, the way Honda designed this uh, glove box or center pocket uh, to hold a cell phone and charge and do all that is, to me, that's where it's almost like the designers kind of got tired like let's just get it out the door to put that stupid little foam rubber thing to put your cell phone in that is has got to be the most ridiculous thing I've seen on a motorcycle of this caliber so I would hope that Honda could come up with a, a design uh, an area somewhere on this motorcycle maybe not even in the center pocket or maybe in the center pocket where you could store your cell phone where it could be locked and be secure and have some sort of a cooling fan to keep the phone from overheating because a lot of people have had that problem with their cell phones on gold rings getting too hot in that center pocket especially in the summertime so what are your thoughts on that the physical appearance the looks of the Goldwing, the styling of the Goldwing is nicer than the new BMW, even though the BMW is not a bad looking bike, it's a good looking bike. But I do prefer the styling of the, two, or the 2018 or 2020 Goldwing, whichever, it's the same basic styling. Some of these technological advancements that you're seeing on these newer bikes uh, is something that I think Honda is going to have to pay attention to. There's a few other little things that could be addressed too that really wouldn't cost Honda any money. The side pocket uh, mechanism for the for the uh, fuel fuel door, I think that could be improved. It could be made a little bit more uh, sophisticated, a little more elegant than the way it is. It's a little bit clunky the way it works. I don't know how your side pocket door works. Mine's not very smooth uh, the way it opens. It just doesn't look like it fits real well. But it does work, but it is subject to failure. And so is the fuel door release subject to failure. I also spoke with a friend of mine, uh, John, in North Carolina the other day that has a 2018. And he and his wife took a road trip recently and they experienced a problem with getting their right saddlebag door to open. He would press on the release button and he could hear the mechanism clicking like it was trying to release, but it never would open. He pushed on the door, did everything he normally would do, and he still couldn't get it to open. Now it finally did open. But uh, it was uh, a little bit scary when you're on a road trip and you got your stuff in your saddlebag and your saddlebag door won't open. Now I've had that problem on the left hand side where it sticks and you have to kind of push on it while you're releasing the button and then it comes open. I've never had it happen on the right saddlebag door. Have any of you guys out there had that problem? Or have you had problems with your saddlebag door sticking and won't open? So put it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So that's pretty much it for this Moto Vlog. I just wanted to kind of bring you up to date on some of the new stuff coming out on these other models, on these other bikes. And uh, hopefully 
Uh, Honda will address this and maybe update the Goldwing with some of these new features. What are your thoughts? Would you like to see adaptive cruise control or radar detection? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time on the next Cruise Bands Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.